Hey guys, and in today's video, we will be talking about the top 5 myths of cloud computing. But before that, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well as it will be really helpful. Now let's go further and take a look at these myths one by one. So the fifth one on the list says that cloud is only for tech companies. So as we all know, cloud started as a data storage region, but these days platforms like AWS, which is Amazon's web services, have more than 100 services and it lets audience from different domains and different industries to use the cloud. And large companies are not the only ones that benefit from cloud computing, because if you are updating your social media profile or checking your bank statement online, that means you're using an application which is being hosted on the cloud. Cloud. And most of these applications that we use daily can be accessed if we are able to connect to the internet. That is it that simple. Now let's go to the fourth one which says cloud decreases job opportunities. So the ever increasing shift into the cloud has actually made people think what will happen to jobs like software developers, administrators, business integrated employees and other people working on the IT industry. But we must understand that the existing data is being moved from on-premise to the cloud but that doesn't mean all these jobs will disappear in future because people have to do the jobs that were done on-premise in the cloud as well but there could be possibilities where certain jobs might be taken away when we consider this situation in a broader perspective but most probably just like other emerging technologies cloud computing will create opportunities for the existing technology folks to upskill and transition their expertise to a new dimension and there will be an increase in demand for people with cloud skills in the coming years as more businesses turn into tech-driven enterprise so you cannot exactly say that cl cloud computing is an IT job killer. Now let's go to the third myth. The third myth says that you need more than one cloud. So depending on your business, this can happen. But the fact that you need more than one is not completely true. Because as an example, AWS provides more than 100 services, which actually covers every aspect of your software development or your business. And using a combination of multiple cloud providers to achieve faster speed may be worth it to improve your application's user experience. And you know, you can run your production workloads on one public cloud and your non-production workloads on another to optimize the cost across different environments. But when you're using only one cloud, you have only one cloud account, so data is always in one place and more cloud account means more services to learn and use which actually takes additional time and effort. So depending on your needs, you may require different platforms but in most cases, you don't need too many platforms. Now let's go to the second one. Second one says that cloud is less secure. So in the early days, of course, security was a serious question talking about the cloud. But today's cloud services have improved massively and they now deploy the latest firewalls and AI-based intelligent security monitoring for added assurance. And most of the security risks in the cloud are same as those faced by traditional IT solutions, but there's only one addition to it. And that is your you and your cloud provider share the security responsibility. And AWS, Microsoft, Google and other major cloud providers are hyper focused on security and regularly perform external auditing to ensure full compliance and certification for their infrastructure and at present the latest data centers are equipped with various security measures and offers users a guaranteed high level of security for their data. Now let's come to the first one, which says cloud is always cheaper and it's always affordable. So talking about cheaper, cloud is always not cheaper, you know, but more often it is more cost efficient. And saying that cloud is always more affordable than on-premise architecture is not always true because cloud computing starts to show its results in the long term run as more of your business technologies move to the cloud service, there will be significant reductions in operational costs when compared to managing the infrastructure to run them in an on-premise setup because there's no data center or hardware investment and even maintenance needed in the cloud. So running a few apps in-house may appear to be cheaper in the short term, but as the business grows, more departments will need access to IT resources, and this will increase the infrastructure costs required to keep your in-house IT supportive of the increased demand. This is actually similar to saying that renting a house is always cheaper than buying one. But sometimes renting is less costly, but if the buyer plans to stay in a particular house for a long time, 
owning it is a better financial decision. So it depends on whether you are planning on using the cloud for a short period of time or a long run because the cloud payment depends on the resources used and the time period you use those resources. So that brings us to the end of this video regarding the top 5 myths of cloud computing. If you like the video, make sure to share it, subscribe to my channel and hit that like button as well.